Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The armed forces of Russia and Tajikistan concluded a significant joint bilateral exercise from April 15 to 18, 2024, at the Carb Maiden Training Ground, a challenging terrain combining mountainous and desert landscapes. This exercise, involving key units from Russia's 201st military base under the Central Military District, underscores the enduring military cooperation between the two nations, a relationship with roots extending back to the Soviet era. According to the Ministry of Defense, the exercise aimed to simulate the neutralization of terrorist infiltrations across mountainous borders, a scenario reflecting the real-world challenges faced by both nations. The operation implemented advanced technologies, with Orlon, 10 and Supercam reconnaissance drones providing vital intelligence. The use of FPV drones Piranhas for combat operations highlighted the integration of cutting-edge unmanned systems in tactical scenarios. Aerial support played a crucial role, with Mi-8 MTV-5-1 and Mi-24 helicopters providing air mobility and fire support. Artillery units employed a formidable array of self-propelled howitzers 2S3 Akatsiya, BM-21 Grad multiple rocket launchers, and 9P-140 Urigan MLRS, demonstrating the robust firepower capabilities of the joint forces. Troop movements were facilitated by Russian BTR-82A armored vehicles and Tajik BTR-80s, backed by Russian T-72B3 tanks and Tajik T-72 tanks, ensuring a coordinated and effective ground operation. The exercise is a testament to the military alliance between Russia and Tajikistan, which is rooted in a security cooperation that has persisted since the Soviet era. Russia's strategic presence in Tajikistan through the 201st military base in Dushanbe is pivotal for regional stability. Both countries are also members of the Collective Security Treaty Organization, CSTO, enhancing their collective defense capabilities through regular joint exercises and coordinated security efforts. Beyond military collaboration, the partnership encompasses economic and security dimensions. Russia supports Tajikistan in securing its extensive border with Afghanistan, a region fraught with terrorism and drug trafficking. This support includes training, funding, and the provision of military equipment, aimed at bolstering Tajikistan's defensive posture. The withdrawal of U.S. forces from Afghanistan has intensified the need for such cooperation, with increased threats from Islamist insurgents underscoring the alliance's importance in maintaining regional stability and Russian influence in Central Asia. However, this robust partnership faces new pressures due to growing U.S. involvement in Tajikistan. Despite their military withdrawal from Afghanistan, the United States has intensified its support for Tajik border defenses, exemplified by a substantial military aid package that includes advanced drones. Since 1992, the U.S. has provided over $330 million in security sector assistance to Tajikistan, signaling a strategic pivot that concerns Moscow. This evolving dynamic raises the specter of a closer Tajikistan-NATO relationship, especially in countering Islamist threats. Additionally, Tajikistan is seeking military support from China, further complicating the regional security landscape. In response, Russia is keen on reinforcing its ties with Dushanbe to secure its strategic interests and mitigate Western influence. The recent military exercises between Russian and Tajik forces reflect this intent, aiming to solidify their long-standing alliance and ensure continued Russian prominence in Central Asia. The joint military exercise at Carb Maiden underscores the depth of the Russian-Tajik military alliance, showcasing their capability to conduct complex operations using advanced technology and coordinated tactics. As regional dynamics shift, this cooperation remains crucial for both nations, highlighting the strategic importance of their partnership in maintaining stability and countering external influences in Central Asia. That's all for now. See you later.